Yo, what's good? I'm starting this morning out strong. I hit Muay Thai this morning at nine. Um, hard ass workout, kicking set. Like we at the end, I don't know if you guys have done like a kicking ladder where it's like you do one on one side and then two and then three or, or you go like you just keep on going up on each side. That shit killed me. Um, then I went and got groceries, which I will show you guys in a second. And right now I'm about to eat my breakfast. So this is what Top T eats for breakfast. I don't have my mic on. But this is a sirloin steak. We got four eggs and then an avocado. The avocado is not ripe, so it's gonna taste like shit, but it's gonna taste like plastic. But, uh, oh, and of course, you guys already know this, but a jug of fair life. So we restocked the fridge. Um, I'm showing you guys right now. One second. And the, also the thing is I'm getting better at going to the grocery store and not getting some bullshit, not like being, Oh shit. I want some peanut butter or some stupid shit where I love peanut butter, but it's so high in calories and it's not even close to what I want to have in my diet or like some cereal or some stupid shit. So I've just completely cut all that stuff out. I have a, like, this is all I got. I'll show you guys. 10 jugs of Fairlife. The other one's right there. There's nine in there. I got three things of raspberries, a thing of blackberries, Greek yogurt. We got organic pink lady apples, organic. And uh, these were, I originally had these, but we got three ribeyes. So they were kind of cheap, so I bought them, but five pounds of ground beef, two cartons of eggs, and then I also got a lot of avocados. I forgot I had so many avocados. So I got organic avocados because these ones aren't organic. Um, this one actually feels good. I should have used that one because the one I used wasn't ripe. But I got avocados there, and then I got more avocados in the fridge. Um, so I can just restock and I don't have to buy more, but yeah, that's it. And I'm going to chat down on this breakfast. It's going to be a pre-workout meal. Um, I'm also going to go, there's a farmer's market. So I'm going to go downtown and go to the farmer's market for one thing and one thing only. And it's honey because there's honey at the store. Yes. I know there's organic honey, but I want the fucking honey that like is on the side of the road on the farmers like you drive down the street and uh the farmer harvests it from his own fucking beehives i want that honey i don't want the i don't know like you never know when you go to the store if it's in that plastic bottle um where the fucking honey came from obviously i don't know exactly where the honey came from if i go to the farmer's market but i know it's gonna be way better honey i just <laughs> it's just kind of like you, you kind of know where it come from, came from because, I mean, it's local, first of all. And uh, it's literally in a glass jar. Like, what, what are they going to do to that shit? So that's my opinion. You guys can get honey from the store, but I recommend getting it from a farmer's market. I probably should even get my fruit from a farmer's market or a place in town. But, I mean, Aldi, Aldi food is good. As long as you get the organic kind and then wash it. Um, and honestly, I don't think it matters that much. I think the meat is a big thing. So I probably shouldn't got the Aldi meat, but those ribeyes were on sale. So it was like a good ass deal. So I just bought them. I have so much meat still in my freezer um, from when I bought them from the butcher. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty stocked up for meat. I don't, I didn't get any salmon or any of that shit today or even any chicken. Um, but yeah, we're just doing red meat for the next couple weeks. That will last me a week. I went through those 10, I got 10 jugs last week on Saturday or Sunday last week. And I went through all of them. They were all gone yesterday. I drank the last one yesterday morning. So that's more than a jug a day. I don't know if that's too much. There's seven, there's 720 calories each. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to eat this breakfast before that steak gets cold and I'll uh, catch you guys whatever I do next when I get my honey and I do my legs. All right. So the farmer's market did not have honey. What kind of a fucking farmer's market is that? 
So I uh, kept walking, walked down to this organic, the, kind of like this holistic kind of grocery place called, I don't know where, they, they sell a bunch of shit that's, uh, I don't know, organic, like, just, it's, it looks like somebody like a fucking gypsy would uh, shop at, but not, not me, not when I walk in there. But they do have good honey, they have good organic stuff, so I got this North Dakota wildflower honey. So I'm gonna try that out. I also got some unsulf wait, unsulfured low sugar mango slices. So I get those every time I go there. They're so fucking good. And I like to freeze them because it makes them more country. Not country, crunchy. Um, I also got some maple syrup, so I'm gonna incorporate maple syrup. I've heard some science behind it and how it's good for you and uh, I don't know there's some health benefits into it and I have a sweet tooth, so I kind of want to try some other stuff out But let's try this wildflower honey. Typically the honey I get is pretty runny. This stuff is like it's like kind of I don't know, solidified, you can kind of see it, but we'll see. I'm gonna heat it up, but I should probably heat it up is what I meant. It's pretty good though, shit. Mm. That was pretty sweet. Tastes better than the fucking Aldi honey, so. North Dakota wildflower honey. I'm gonna get this workout started, so. I'm gonna drink some pre-workout maybe. We'll see, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna sit down actually for a bit. Drink some pre-workout, maybe do a little bit of work, and then uh, head down for legs. Whew, it's gonna be rough, let's do it. All right, I'm drinking. The pre-workout, gorilla mode, no stim, so I'm not doing caffeine, but we just took down the garden. The garden is gone. I'm gonna take it off the balcony. The only thing is it's fucking huge, so it doesn't fit through the door, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't fit through the front door either. So a lot of dirt is gonna go everywhere, or I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Maybe throw it off the balcony. That could be a possibility. But, more importantly, I gotta hit legs, or er, fuck, legs. Legs right now, that's all the shit I took out. Tomatoes, everything was dead. I didn't, I hadn't watered it, but I just cut them all out, just chop, chop, chop. Threw them away, and now, it's leg time. Let's get it. All right, I'm not going heavy, I'm just gonna do high reps and really, really feel it. I ate too much sugar. All right. 
obviously I can go higher, but heavier. I probably will, but I just really wanted to feel it. Warm my quads up. Oh, damn. You know, I went to the store this morning and obviously you guys saw what I got, but I said, I'm proud of myself because I didn't get anything I didn't want to get. Then I went to go get honey from the farmer's market. They didn't have it, so I went to that store. Those mangoes, they get me. Every time I get them, makes me feel like shit. Because there's so much sugar. Not because there's so much sugar, but just because I eat so many. Uh, yeah, it's not good. All right, number two. Just gotta wrap this shit out. Let's go. Don't think about it. Fuck, I should go heavier. I'm gonna go heavier. I don't know why I didn't put the weight on before. I think I'm gonna drop it down to 15 reps instead of 20. And then we'll see how this goes. a couple more. All right. Wait, wrong way. All right, I can go heavier with that. All right. I'm kind of doing a circuit.
Another round. Keep going. I'm gonna throw up. That's good. 